Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this ball stud. Let's hop right to it. Okay. Create a new project. Let's start out by creating a new component and name it ball stud. Okay. Let's go ahead and create a sketch and let's put it on the front plane. Select the front view, click the visible plane. And let's start out by using the circumscribe polygon tool. It's going to have six sides. Let's give it a horizontal constraint. And let's go ahead and remove this because we don't want that dimension from the center. Okay, so let's go ahead and dimension these two sides. We're going to make it 12.5 millimeters. Okay. And just in case it's not set to millimeters, what you can do is go here, up here to document settings, click the drop down tab, click units, click this icon right here, and you can actually change it from inches to millimeters or whatever uh, dimension you have set up. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the extrude tool. Okay. Let's bring this down to about 3.5 millimeters. Okay. All right. Now, let's go back to the front again. Select the front face. Create a sketch. And we're going to use the center circle tool. I'm going to make this 12.3 millimeters in diameter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the extrude tool again. Select this circle, the profile that we just created. Obviously, we want it to be set to intersect because we're going to basically be cutting into it. We're going to make the taper angle 55 degrees. And we're going to set this to be negative four for distance. Click OK. All right. Next, let's go ahead and create a mid plane. So we'll select construct mid plane. Select this face. Select this face and it puts it directly in the center. Click OK. Now we can go ahead and use the mirror command. So you'll select create. Where is the mirror command? Mirror, mirror, where are you? Okay, it's down here at the bottom. Mirror. Okay. We want the type to be set to features. The objects, we want to be this extrusion we just created. The mirror plane is the plane we just created. Compute option is going to be set to identical. Click OK. Now we can go ahead and hide that construction plane. All right. Now, on the back face, look at the back view. Go ahead and create a sketch. Okay. Let's create a center diameter circle. Once again, we'll make this seven millimeters. Let's hit the E key. So we directly go into extrude, select the profile we just created. And this is going to be 20 millimeter, excuse me, 20 millimeters long. Click. Okay. All right. Next. Let's go ahead and select the right view, create a sketch. Okay. Left click and hold, select the YZ plane. Okay. Let's go ahead and create a line from the center point and bring it out. Close it off. Let's go ahead and select the construction uh, tool. I want to create a construction line. It doesn't have to be in a particular length. Just bring it up like this because we're going to use it a little bit later. All right. Turn off construction line type. And what we're going to do is continue creating lines. So let's take this and bring a line up. Bring it down like this. And then. Well, the arc isn't going to work very well. So let's go ahead and hit the escape key. Let's go ahead and use the three point arc. Select this point, this point and create our arc. Let's make the arc tangent to this 
construction line here. Let's make the arc dimension five millimeter radius. Okay. The distance from this point to this line, we want to be three millimeters. Okay. The distance of the line we just created, so we can actually just select this point and this point. We're gonna make this 4.6 millimeters. We're gonna make the distance from this point to this point be about five millimeters sketch is now fully defined next what we want to do is use the revolve command so create revolve okay the profile is already selected because it's all blue the axis we're going to select is going to be the bottom line it's going to be a 360 degree rotation operation is going to be set to join click ok all right Let's go ahead and add some fillets. Hit the F key. Okay, we can select this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here. And we'll make this 0.5 millimeters. Click OK. All right, let's add a chamfer to this bottom edge here. And we'll make this 0.2 millimeters. All right. Next, let's use the thread command. So we'll select create. Okay, thread, we'll select this end right here. We want it to be modeled. We don't want it to be the full length. So as far as length goes, we want it to be 13 millimeters. Okay, thread size is gonna be 7.0 millimeters and designations M7 by one. Click okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and select the right view again. Create a sketch on that right view, plane. YZ. Okay. Hit the P key for project. And we want the selection filter to be bodies. Click on the entire bodies. Click OK. We're going to do this because we need some information from this actual sphere right here. All right. So let's go ahead and create a line. Make sure it's vertical. All right. And so create another line from this point here in the center and make it intersect this line. All right. We can actually turn into construction geometry if you like. Let's go ahead and select this line. Make it construction geometry. All right. And let's set the distance from this line to this point to be one millimeter. Okay, it's fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's select the revolve command, create, revolve. Okay. Actually, we need to back up a second and go back. So I made this a construction line, so it's uh, selecting the entire uh, geometry and we don't want to do that. So Let's go backwards, hit cancel. Let's go back and correct that sketch. Edit the sketch. We wanna make this line an actual line again. There we go. Finish the sketch. Go back, select the revolve command. Okay. Profile, it's gonna be this half here. Axis is selected already because it's gonna be the line we just chose. And it's gonna be 360 degrees. Operation is gonna be set to cut and click okay. All right. Let's go ahead and add some more fillets. Use the F key. And let's select this edge and a bunch of edges surrounding this portion here. So all the edges. verify that all edges are selected. We missed one. Okay. Looks about right. We're going to set the dimension to be 0.1. Click OK. 
Just a little tip here uh, for rendering. Basically, when you have edges that are completely sharp, they don't render very well because light doesn't bounce off them correctly. So basically when you have any kind of fillet at the edge, it actually highlights the edges and you can actually see the reflection. So now let's just go ahead and change. Well, actually let's go ahead into render. All right, let's set our material. We're going to make this, let's see, stainless steel. So I just type in steel. I want stainless steel polished. All right. Okay. Let's double click on it and let's set it to how we want it. We want the roughness to be down just a little bit. Crank it down. We'll actually crank it up a little bit. Click done. Now you don't have to do this, but what I did was I again added a bump map. So I chose, let's see, satin, uh, titanium satin. Uh, this is specifically to give you a pattern. It doesn't really mean anything. It just gives you like a, uh, a pattern. So for this height map, we're going to change that to normal map, click done, and we'll get this pattern here. Okay. So what I want to do is go back and click on that. And I want to change the depth amount and bring it down. It's about right there. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, it looks okay so far because this is actually spiral correctly. I'm not worried about this. This is spiral correctly, but this isn't. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to texture map controls. I'm going to select this object projection type. I'm going to select box. Okay. All right. Looks kind of weird. I know. So what I want to do is I want to rotate. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Rotate this. 90 degrees it looks a lot better right here okay click okay all right let's just set up continue to set everything up so i want the roughness to be 0 0.05 for the view focal length let's go ahead and set that to 200 for now depth of field i wanted to be looking at this section here and the blur i want to be 0 0.03 Actually, 0 0.0. No, nah, we can try 0 0.04. All right. And my environment library, I have warm light set up. And let's go ahead and let's do an in canvas render. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. And let's shift the lights around. So we get something we actually like. Let's bring it in a little bit more. Now what we can do is go back and actually bring out the spiral pattern a little bit more because when you render it, it doesn't seem to pop as much. So let's go ahead and click that image for the normal map again. And let's bring up the depth amount tad bit higher okay looks about right click OK make sure you apply it because if you don't it won't set all right and there you have it your ball stud what well, that about wraps it up for this video I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial of rendering and creating a ball stud I'll see you in our next video.